Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're working on the 489 again. Uh, the original American Country 716 attempted to cut some hay. And he had more troubles. And we got more broken knives that weren't broken before. Um, he said he hit some wood that was some sticks in the field. And even the uh, brand new blade we put on is getting chewed up. So uh, we're going to get her go going again. I thought it was crazy the teeth were wore off of that one already. But, uh, yep, this is what today is bringing us. So I am going to grind the bolt heads off of the knives. And we are going to replace the knives that are bad. Uh, I just bought ten more knives from the uh, local New Holland dealer. I will get these cut off and we'll try to get this thing back together. See how she knows. Maybe the third time will be the charm. one of those new style crescent hammers. I guess I should get a real hammer or two. see have little knurled heads and uh, I'll show you how they put one on so I got some new bolts another new knife all you do is bolt them on some of the older ones have rivets these ones are bolted Oop. of course gotta drop them out Come in a nice little package. I'm not sure what I'm showing you. Well, here they are. Nice package. Bolts, nuts. Pretty sure I need a smaller screwdriver. Or you do the other option, you tap the bolt head with the knurled head into the bar and that'll hold it secure. You can see it draws her right in as you tighten it up. The head pulls in. I'm not sure if I should change other ones or not. That one I should probably change. Oh, well, I got it apart again. And even this one. Wearing fun. Probably should have changed them all. I'd love to change this one, but this one's really hard to change because you gotta take all these out to change the one. shark is losing its teeth.
a little bit of video of how it slides in the spot. Here it goes. What were you saying? Well, we got her fixed up. Let's head to the field. See how she does.
ones I told you that uh, were the sticks or the wood, it wasn't really the ones. They're down here in this end of the field. And back along the hedgerow. So cool. I'm going to take the tractor over and uh, push them out of the way. I think I can see one straight ahead there. Maybe that's where we're going. a better view. I guess I should have brought a chainsaw along. Uh, this is more ash. I could be cutting this up and taking it home and selling it. Maybe. But uh, I think for now I'll just push it in the hedgerow. Can always pull it back out I guess. On the 340A. She's a real beauty. around this is probably just gonna happen again but uh, we tried to make it so that this didn't happen in the spring before it got grown in the grass we went through and cleaned all this up but well more fell I guess This is typical farming. You think everything's going good and then it all goes to hell. But well, it is what it is. Stuff like this is uh, hard on those little blades. Especially if you get something girthy like that. I know when I cut the last field, I was very lucky I didn't run into that big log. I might take the finish mower and just mow it. Mow it with that. Chop up some of these sticks if they're still in here. And if you run into that, that would be bad news. We'll have the cutter bar out again. There's ash down everywhere. That ash borer beetle, or emerald ash borer beetle, was terrible. It appears that the uh, 489 is doing all right because he's still mowing, so hopefully we're good. Don't try to keep the hedgerows back every year. The field gets smaller and smaller as the hedgerow grows bigger and bigger.
intensifying would be nice. I don't think there is uh, detrimental if you hit a piece of wood with a rebind. Uh, well, got it all cleaned up, except for a few pieces. I mowed it off with the finish mower, and uh, hopefully it doesn't cause any trouble with the baler if he ever gets in here. But uh, Pick these up and we should be good. Mow this with the finish mower and uh, see if I missed any. That's about it for playing around in the hayfield. I'm going to head her home. Well, we got more wood to split. Here comes my helper. He looks pretty enthused about it. I got more of these crates. I have eight total. So I want to get them filled up and get this out of the backyard. of wood today. Now we got a little bonus feature of Mrs. American Country 716. I think your tractor's sexy. No pressure. What? No pressure. Best ending of a YouTube video ever. 
This is American country backing up with her tractor. Look at her go. Look at her go. Whoop, whoop. All hands on deck on this farming operation. This is American country. Where are you going? tractor driver. The meat chickens are doing pretty good. I'll show you them. Yeah. In the chicken tractor. Looks like they're out of food right this second. But... They're doing well. Chicken tractor's working great. Well, that's about it for today's video. If anybody needs any uh, meat for their freezer, there's an auction uh, that the Niagara County 4-H uh, program puts on at the uh, Niagara County Fair. It is, uh, what day is it, dear? Friday, August 2nd at 6 p.m. I'd like to see you there. Um, we had a great day. We got a lot accomplished today. And uh, it's nice that Mrs. American Country 716 was in this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Happy farming. One more thing, I hope everybody has a great Independence Day.